Hi, it's Melissa Donnelly, National Secretary of your union, the CPSU. Over the last 12 months, we've pulled together as a community to address the challenges posed by COVID-19. And it's working people who've led the way. Healthcare workers, teachers, childcare workers, supermarket workers have all been extraordinary. In the APS, it's Services Australia workers who've helped thousands of thousands of Australians who've found themselves out of work. It's our members in the CSIRO who've done years worth of research into vaccines in but a few months. It's employees at the ATO who've kept small businesses afloat during this period. It's workers in the APS and around the country who've kept us all going. Working people have already sacrificed so much during the pandemic, with millions out of work. The test for the government's industrial relations legislation must be whether it leaves workers worse off. And unfortunately, on critical issues it does. In the critical area of insecure work, which fueled so much of the second wave of this pandemic, the government's bill fails this test. It fails to address the problem of insecure work, which is so real across our country, including in our sector, where we see thousands and thousands of casuals and increasing reliance on insecure labour hire arrangements. The government's bill allows employers to sidestep casual conversion, the right for casuals to seek permanent employment, relies on subjective tests by the employer about who is or who isn't a casual. It fails to address this problem in any real way. And in the important area of enterprise bargaining, the government's bill tips the balance further in favour of employers, weakening the better off overall test and the protections for employees. This is just not good enough. That's why the CPSU is fighting this bill. Please join us in fighting the bill along with other unions and the ACTU. You can access more information on our website. Thank you.